Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to a, another ENSL gather match. We have a match that is just starting right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and get to it real quick. I believe the countdown for the pregame was just starting, and the match is actually is starting right now. So again, we're playing NS Tram. We have um, a start from the marines in the warehouse and server room for the aliens. It's not very good for the aliens to be that close to the marines this early in the game. We're seeing already some skirmishes happen uh, between server room and warehouse and it looks like the marines are... it looks like the marines do know that the that they have started there. It's very odd that they would start um, expanding this way and, and putting a resource tower uh, so close to the uh, so close to the alien start. Usually, what you'd want to do is expand the other way to make sure that it's easier to hold those precious resource towers. But it looks like they have already put up four resource towers. I mean, one is going down in ore processing. And the MK and Gary making short work of that. Doesn't look like a, a recycle is gonna make it. We got Sid coming in to try to protect it, but he completely did not make it there in time. Logistics RT is gonna be going up soon right after he gets up the power in logistics. And we have some defense being played here by Gorge. This is their only, uh, this is their start hive. Being so close this early in the game makes it hard for the aliens to expand. However, they can expand down uh, into elevator transfer and to observation, so it looks like that's where they're going there. Resource towers wise, they're both looking on 3 3 on resources, um, and they have lost already 10 resources. The Marines have lost 10 resources by losing that tower um, in. Uh, in repair room, oh, I'm sorry, in ore processing, and it looks like it's just being rebuilt right now. But Sid, and we are having some push from the alien team. They're going to be taking down that RT in North Tunnels, and we got Spooky and Easy taking down a Skulk in North Tunnels. Gary's there, and they are just not going to make it to that RT in time. That's a 20 resource loss so far for the Marines. We have shotguns and mines for the marine team. It looks like a mine just took out the MK. We got a crag hive with the aliens, but so far no upgrades being researched. He's sitting on 25 resources. So far has a total of 90, uh, 100 that he's collected thus far. And the Marines just captured another resource node, which is really good for their regular flow. We got a push from the aliens to repair room. No one's in there. And it looks like that RT was already halfway down, and that is definitely going to go down at this point. Marines are having trouble establishing any map control at this point. The problem with Marines at this point in the game, if they do not have phase gates, then this makes it very hard for the Marines to control any part of the map as we can see because the further they expand from their main base the further they are from supplies and health uh, their commander could use resources to go ahead and drop that but it does take res uh, it does take resources to drop med packs and ammo packs and we're seeing that a command uh, a shipping command station has been dropped by the Marines which is looking good, however it is very far from warehouse and it doesn't look like they have any uh, phase gate technology coming. They have an arms lab being built right now but that is definitely not going to help with getting with moving marines around the map. They're going to be needing those phase gates pretty soon. Elevator transfer just got dropped by the aliens so we're looking at a two base to two base however the marines are definitely overextended at this point if you can look at this map. They just finished the command center there, however, they are going to get an armory, which is going to help with health, but if those two get taken out, there is not, there is no quick way for the Marines to reinforce shipping, which they could lose very, very quickly at a very high resource cost. We can see that Marines have already lost 40, resource, uh, 40 resources just in buildings uh, at this point, which is not very good. Uh, we got Wicked Sick 
coming in to shipping. They know that they're in there. They know that there's a command center there now. This is not good for those two Marines. And the logistics RT is being bitten and going down. Raccoon and Static are going to leave the defense of shipping. And they are going to get killed. Raccoon just go, uh, killed free kill. Now he's coming in. The RT is down. Wicked Sick is running off. And we have a Skulk that just tried to sneak up on Raccoon and is gone. Wicked Sick is running in and there's another RT being built at that point and we see health packs being dropped for Raccoon and he's getting resourced, uh, reinforced by Sid. The game right now as far as strategy looks really good for the aliens. They have good map control at this point as server room and elevator transfer are pretty close to each other but again warehouse and shipping are far away. They do not seem to have any observatory. Oh, it looks like an observatory is being built at this point. Too little, too late. This might be too late for the Marines to get phase gates. And we have a push on shipping. And as I said, very, very hard for, to, for the Marines to defend that because they have no phase gates, no quick way to get there, and it is extremely far from their main base. They should have dropped at repair room, which is a little bit closer. It looks like the command center is going to go down. It's at 13%. That Marine did, did not help, and that command center is down, and the Marines have just lost shipping. The RT in shipping is now being taken down. I don't think a recycle is going to help at this point. 20%. Oh, and he does end up recycling what he could from shipping, but if you look at the... and logistics is going down as well. Armor 1 has started, we see Phase Gates is being researched as well, finally. Those, uh, I, in my opinion, those should have been researched w uh, minutes ago, and that may have saved shipping at this point. Now, we see a push from the Marines to Marines in shipping, which is uh, their main base, but we have Hydras up at this point, and that is just going to prove too much for Easy and Static. They are going to just back off at this point, and we have reinforcements coming in. Uh, from the alien side behind them that is probably going to give them some trouble. But it looks like they're just going to bypass their head into mezzanine. They're going to get trapped between both sides. Chiseler and Free Killer on both sides. The Marines do not know this. And it looks like they are just going to be eaten alive in mezzanine by all the aliens. So we see that phase gates finally have been finished, and we see Gary coming in, attacking that observatory. It's halfway down, which is really good. If they kill that observatory, they lose phase gates. And repair room, they seem the Marines have just set up in repair room, and if they can get a phase gate up, they could have a chance at this point. However, the resource loss on, on the Marine side has been massive. 85 resource loss versus just 23 for the aliens. And the Marines have lost seven resource towers versus just two for aliens. So definitely not going good for resource flow. And it looks like they may just lose another resource tower in our processing. And it looks like MK is just going to strafe around that and then sacrifice himself. But the job was done. Another resource tower being built, which is another 10 res that should not have been spent and should have been spent for other things. Repair room seems to be having some trouble here. Spooky just narrowly beating free kill in the ma in the math uh, match to defend repair room. And we see a phase gate going up in repair room. And we have already a built phase gate in main, so it looks like this is where the Marines can kind of get a foothold here. However, if you look at this map, we have the aliens just completely um, dominating map control on the right side of the map. They're assisting now from observation into shipping. We have drifters all over the map to give that Marine Con crucial battlefield information. And we're having static come into uh, shipping. And it looks like some trouble in logistics. We got Raccoon that just got killed. And Sid takes out MK, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. However, he did beat Chisler as well. What great firing from Sid to help out logistics. Now he's got a couple of Marines coming up to reinforce logistics. And at this point, they have three RTs. That's going to make their fourth one. We have armor, level one done. The aliens on their side have already researched Leap. They started researching Blink. And it looks like they have Carapace and a Shift Hive coming up in elevator transfer. Big fight coming down in logistics at this point. 
where a big push by marine or by aliens have just been ousted by the marines and from there they are moving into shipping at this point it looks like they're going to try to reclaim shipping if they can if they can get a phase gate down there really quickly they could get a very crucial foothold of the map and the map control would really be split down the middle at this point so the marines are doing well holding holding themselves together however that phase gate in repair room is in trouble. We have Static and other Marines phasing through to, to stop Chisler from taking that down. We just saw a health pack being dropped by the commander and it looks like that phase gate has been saved. We see that so the aliens have just researched Celerity so that is definitely going to give a great good speed boost for the aliens and help in their attacks. And Logistics RT is being attacked. It doesn't look like it's going to be enough to go down. We have a lot of re Marine reinforcements coming in to save that RT and, and stem the resource uh, loss for the Marines. And they successfully do that. Moving now into shipping, it looks like the Marines really want to take over shipping and make sure that they do not get that hive up there. Blink has just been completed by the aliens, which is going to help with fades. As far as resources go, we see that we have a pretty good resource flow. Free Kill, Chisler, all doing really good with personal res. Gary as well. On the Marine side, we have Sid um, at the highest with 35 res. And we're going to see what he can use that for. Armor 2 is going up at this point. We have a fade in play. Blinking in, just taking down those Marines. And fades are just really good against Marines and without that weapons one upgrade which the, the Marine commander has omitted to do right now that is really going to be tough for the Marines to kill those fades. We got two fades now coming into logistics. They're just going to be bypassing logistics moving forward into repair room. We have a push in repair room. The phase gate is down. This looks like a big push. Those Marines are going to go make go down by the fades and it looks like at this point that Combat repair station, room is attack. taken. This could be game, folks. The Marines are just researching Armor 2. They do not have weapons and it looks like Free Kill is off to scout or processing. Spooky just got jumped on by Free Kill. Made short work of him. Bile Bomb we see is just completed. We also see that there is going to be a Marine push into server room which probably is a bad idea at this point they know that the aliens just took out a uh, repair room on the left side of the map which means that they will come through ore processing and definitely into warehouse into their base and we only have one defender at this point easy just took out Sid and we have a fade running loose in warehouse which isn't good he's heading towards platform to save the hive at this point if this marine offensive gets killed, what's going to happen? And these these guys are going to regroup and head right back to warehouse to make sure that they do a counter before the marines can take a breath. Weapons one has just started, as we can see from the marines, but that's going to take a bit, and I just don't think it's going to be enough time. If we're looking at the resources, they've lost ten resource towers at this point, double what the aliens have lost. They've also lost a hundred and twenty-four res, double what the aliens have lost. The aliens are playing a very tight game at this point. They're very responsive to threats, and the marine team is just getting hammered. Garish loses the fight against Raccoon, but we have a fade into play against three marine, two fades against three marines which is actually a pretty even matchup but we just see easy comes up makes it even oh and we have a fade in trouble wicked is blinking away and it looks like they the marines are going to push them away and the aliens just lost the mk who is a fade that's 50 resources he says he got stuck on a wall which happens we're seeing some max being built by the Marine Commander. Looks like he's gonna use those to help expand while the other units are fighting. We have fades coming in through the hub into the repair room. This game is definitely going to the aliens. Great resource management by the alien commander. And we can see right now that without weapons 2, 
those fades make short work of those marines. We now have, in terms of alien, uh, in terms of alien upgrades, we have leap, bile bomb, spores, and blink all researched. Either their crag hive regeneration and carapace, and they have celerity out of their shifts, so they have a pretty good amount of research done. Uh, in terms of the marines, we're having phase gates, weapons one, armor two, and an advanced armory. But it looks like too little, too late at this point. He's got 35 res and he's just got to expand on the map. And a phase gate is going up in the hub just to give some center and central mass control. However, it may not get up. There's a fade that just came in. And we're seeing an Onos now on the field. And the Onos seems a little bit stuck at this point. However, the hub phase gate is not going to be coming through. You see that almost at the end, the skulk is going to make short work of that. And it goes down. So the expansion for the marines is definitely going down. Map can, they dropped their shipping hive. That is being uh, built, 63% grown. And we're seeing that the Onos is now pushing towards repair room. Free kill is just making short work of all these marines. With the weapons that they have and the weapon upgrades that they lack, the marines stand no chance against this Onos. And there's the GG from the marines. This is going to be a very, very short game at this point. After repair room goes down and another hive gets built in repair room. We're looking at the aliens with four hives. And now at this point we have a fade that's just harassing the base. Those marines are not going to stand a chance. There's another GG by the aliens. And the fade goes down. However, reinforcements are coming in from or processing. They are not going to be able to take down that Onos and they're just going to work on the infantry portal. Infantry portal is going to go down and we see that there is one lone Mac in logistics. It looks like they're trying to build a phase gate in logistics but that's just not going to work out because they have no people on the map anymore. Shipping Hive has just finished. This is definitely game for the aliens. Command station under attack. And the commander is now dead. There's no way for the marines to spawn. This game is definitely over. There's the GG's and the aliens win this match. So, very, very good game played by the alien commander and the alien teams. It looked like the marines were going to have a little bit of a foothold in the early parts of the match, but again, the phase gates just came way too late. They did have uh, an opportunity to lock up. Um, they did have an opportunity to lock up shipping, which was on the other end of the map of warehouse uh, in the beginning. But again, those got taken out, and it was just way too far for the Marines to reinforce that. So I hope you enjoyed that match. If you're interested in joining League Play, jo uh, go to ensl.org for more of my matches. It's twitch.tv slash stingreddog or youtube slash stingreddog. And you can also follow me at Twitter, at sign StingRedDog, for more matches. And I will be signing off, but we'll get back to you later with some more broadcasts. Thanks, guys.